Hello. Hello. Fit of the giggles here. I'm Caroline. I'm Pete. And uh, we live on our 64 foot narrow boat. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
we're sad to see the little Borton lock keeper's cottage so derelict, but we love this message in the window. Coming into Banbury, we just stopped briefly for a quick grocery shop before we headed out again because we knew that we'd be stopping on the way back up. After the peace and quiet of the countryside, it made a change to be going through a town again. I used my windlass to open the pedestrian lift bridge. And then we stopped at the water point to fill up with water. The derelict cottage at Grant's Lock had recently been sold at auction and it was interesting to meet the new owner as we passed through there. The next day we pass through the first of two of these unusual lozenge shaped locks. They're located where the River Churwell meets up with the Oxford Canal. They keep the level of the canal consistent even when the river level is changing. This is one of the most creative boat names we've seen in our time on the canals. And then we came to Somerton Deep Lock, which is 12 feet and the deepest of the locks on the Oxford Canal. This was one of the heaviest lock gates that I've experienced so far.
We moored at Upper Hayford, but it's one of the few places we've been that had no phone or internet signal, so we moved a tiny bit further down the canal to Lower Hayford. We had a little explore at the lovely village and then had dinner at the Bell. And we can highly recommend the burgers if you're ever in the area. The next morning, while Pete worked, I took Poppy over to the playing field opposite our mooring. Then later that day we continued our journey south. When we finally reached Thrupp, we were excited to find that there was a space on one of the seven day moorings. It was really handy close to the facilities, so Pete emptied the rubbish, did a few more jobs while I baked a cake. Every now and again, especially when the steering's feeling sluggish, we check down the weed hatch to see if there's anything around the propeller. Uh, we've got rope and all sorts. I'm going to need a sharp cutting device and um, stuff. What is it? It looks like a whole bunch of fishing wire and rope and all <coughs> kinds of stuff. The next day Pete left for his first business trip overseas since Covid. He was meant to be going to Sweden via Amsterdam. But after a delayed flight to Amsterdam, he got to his gate and saw the flight to Sweden just backing away. After a night in a hotel, he went back to the airport to just scenes of chaos. He had to wait three hours just to speak to somebody at the information desk to get booked on a flight back to England because by now he'd even missed his meeting and sent regular photo updates of what queue he was now waiting in. 
Meanwhile, back at the boat, I went to the local Amazon locker to pick up a parcel. These are really easy to use when you don't have a fixed address and are moving around all the time. And you just order your parcel to be delivered to wherever you're close to. Visit from my mum and dad while Pete was away to keep me company and then Pete got back from his trip. And it didn't take us long to realise what he'd brought back with him. So we left Thrupp and cruised north a couple of miles to the middle of nowhere to sit and wait it out. After a week, we cruised a little north, turned around and then headed back towards Thrupp and waited a few more days until we felt fully better. This was the first time we'd moored anywhere and had to use the gangplank, so the dogs needed a quick lesson in how to get on and off. Feeling much better, we finally made it back to Thrupp, filled up with water, emptied the toilet, got rid of our rubbish and just had a chance to enjoy the village a little bit more. been Poppy's favourite spot all the time we've been up for us. Guarding our boat and chatting to everybody as they pass. Do 
Join us next time as we decide whether to keep heading towards Oxford or turn around. If you've enjoyed this video please give us a like and if you're not subscribed then please click the subscribe button, it's totally free.